happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us for the C Crane CC Skywave 2. This is an AM FM stereo weather alert airband and shortwave portable radio. You can find the selling at ccrane.com for $89.99. If you're watching this before December 8th, 2023, it'll have a pre-order date and you can get your pre-orders in uh, for this new radio. If it's after that date, hopefully it'll be on Amazon. I'll links below to this radio as well. So here it is, the CC Skywave 2. Excellent. Uh, one of the best little shortwave radios you can get in a compact size. I really enjoy it. The reception's amazing. So let's take a look at the box. There we go. Seacrane. Loving it. They're out of California, guys. So it is an American company, which is fantastic. Uh, of course, they... Make the radios in China, but they tell them what they want. So if something's not quite up to par, they tell them fix it, which is good. Illustration there, some bullet points on the side. Okay, the Skywave 2 has a few extra features that the Skywave 1 doesn't, and I'll show them to you in this video. All right, cool. So I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. So in the box, we get the star of the show, the Skywave 2. Awesome. We also get a pair of headphones. These are the Seacrane CC Buds. I'll be honest with you, these are fantastic with this radio. Uh, when I go over the headphone experience, I'll give you my impressions on these headphones with this radio, but just absolutely perfect pair. If you don't have any headphones, you're going to use these. And rarely do I say that about headphones that are included with a radio. Um, these are good. I'm very impressed and very comfortable to wear. You also get a carrying bag. It's your name on there, Seacrane. Nice. And we get some instructions, which we're just going to page through really quick. We got warranty registration card. Be sure to send it in. I think they give you a one-year warranty on this. Everything has a really good warranty through them. They're really cool people. There you go. And I believe, yeah, I'll just, there you go, one-year limited. Okay, great. Paperwork aside. We got the big book. Here's the big book. Usually I'll go page to page, but I really want to get to the radio. So you can actually download this manual uh, on their site, which is nice. And if you can't find that, I'll link to it in this video down in the description or comment section. So look for it there. Okay. Uh, what I want to find here is pretty much just specifications. Uh, that's really what I'm interested in. Here we are on the back. So FM band, as you can see, it's got an expanded mode of 76 to 108. That's when you choose 9K stepping. So if you choose a 9K stepping, uh, you get expanded FM band as well. So that's nice. Shortwave coverage is 2.3 to 26.1 megahertz. Airband, your of course seven channels for the weather band. Power source, two AA batteries. Power consumption, not too bad. You'll get like 60 to 70 hours on this radio, which is absolutely amazing. Speaker size, antenna, and we'll go over all that there. So in some dimensions, I think. Yeah, that covers it. Yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time. Okay, there's your little common short. Shortwave broadcast bands, beautiful, different meter bands. Covers everything for normal listening. And some additional items. Yeah, some of this stuff's pretty neat. I wish it included a wire antenna, that would have been nice. They have the AC power adapter. And then, of course, you want to make a long wire adapter for your antenna. Nice. Okay, so done with the manual. Again, you can download this. Uh, like I said, usually I go through it, but uh, there's just uh, so much in here. and I'll cover most of it, the radio. Yeah, the fun part. So let's get to the radio. All right, so we're gonna zoom it on down and go over dimensions. All right. So yeah, I'm a Seacrane fanboy, you guys know that. Um, so lengthwise, we have five and one eighths of an inch. We have a height of three inches, and we have a depth of one and one quarter inches. So there you go. A little size comparison, I'm gonna bring this back up. So I always have like CC Pocket, so it's neat to compare its little sibling to it. This is an AM FM weather alert radio, just minus the airband and shortwave. Um, yeah, excellent listening as well. CC Pocket's great, but there you are. And then we have, uh, you know, I don't have, I'm not gonna compare a Skywave to a Skywave at this moment, but we're gonna use a Radio Wow or a Seagodon, whatever name, R108. Give you an idea, a lot of people have the R108s because it's less money, 
But uh, yeah, it runs on a BL5C battery. Capacity is kind of weak. Here you got the two AA's that run about 60, 70 hours. Here you get max about 12 hours at the most. Um, you'll find yourself having to charge this battery way more often. So there you are there. Cool. Okay. And then, yeah, then I have an original Skyway, which I just wanted to show you the differences. And the main differences, visual, is right here on the side. On the right, or left, excuse me, left side here, we have the antenna input now on the Skywave 2. And we have a micro USB versus the mini USB. So, yeah, we'll talk about this in a moment. But I wanted to show you the differences. It's pretty much, that's the only difference that is pretty much what I see. Now, the LCD looks a little nicer on the, the new one. But the buttons and everything they do is pretty much the same thing. Great. And if you don't have those radios, I always have a deck of cards handy. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves shortwave radios from Sea Crane Land. He's the Iron Man. Rock on. He spins it like no one can. All right, he's cool. <laughs> but you get an idea, deck of cards. Boom. All right. There's a lot to go over with this radio, and I want to turn it on, so... Yeah, we gotta get to that. So, all right, let's score features of the C Crane CC Skywave 2. I'm gonna go zoom it on down. There you go. As you can see, amber lit. Love that. So, we got a carry strap on the left hand side. Okay, so our antenna input for uh, shortwave, so you can extend it. I use a, a real antenna, 22 foot. It does make a difference, and we'll talk about that uh, for shortwave. But that's nice that it's convenient versus clipping it to the telescopic whip. Uh, it's, it's a nice. Uh, set up to have it that way. Uh, FM stereo listening headphone jack experience. Now this is what I wanted to talk about with using those CC buds. Absolutely amazing experience. When you plug in your headphones, uh, just expect a great time. Uh, no low level hiss, which is fantastic. Um, FM stereo sounds fantastic. It's just great all along. I love it. Um, FM moderate lows, strong mids, moderate highs, pleasant listening. I mean, I enjoyed the FM band completely with those headphones. No pops when changing bands, so no popping, no crackling, none of that stuff. Doesn't exist on this radio whatsoever. So yeah, have fun. Um, AM FM, excuse me, AM shortwave air weather band. Expect a nice neutral tone. Uh, perfect for talk sports radio. So yeah, overall awesome experience on the headphone jack. Micro USB in to charge the uh, nickel metal hydride batteries if you install them. It's up to you if you do that. Uh, you can also use it to power the radio. Um, the, they use a switching power supply, so you will get some RFI. They do have some filtering, they said, inside the radio to help. Um, and the, the charge circuit's a little bit uh, improved uh, for charging the batteries. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, you probably won't be able to use like FM, weather alert, uh, when you're using those with the airband. Um, you might get, uh, of course, RFI on medium wave and short wave. So that's something to, to note. For the radio, we have a one and a half inch speaker. Uh, they increase the tonal quality of it. Uh, it's a little different it's, uh, than the original. It's got a little bit more power to the speaker. Uh, you hear a little bit more uh, of a tonal threshold. C Crane, CC Skywave 2. Okay, so when the radio is off, we have a battery life indicator. We have our clock. It's currently 1127 uh, p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA for tuning purposes. Power button, sleep function, AM, FM band switch right here, or button. An alert mode, so like if you press and hold this, uh, allows you to enter weather alert for four hours, eight hours, and I believe 16 hours. So yeah, not bad to have that. Uh, over here, actually, I can probably show you. Just press and hold this. And I think if you tap it again, or you hold it, it'll go to the... Okay, so we're in alert mode. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up. Turn it off. Okay, so yeah, you can change it for 8 and 16 hours. So let's go ahead and do that. They could just hold it. There you go. And you can go up to 16 hours. That's pretty nice. Cool. All right, so then press an alternate turn the alert off. Nice little setup there. Okay. Um, so as you can see, we got a numeric keypad. So we can hit the frequency button and direct enter our frequency. That's really good to have. Like, say, if you want to go to 5 megahertz, frequency 5000, done. You're right there. Um, very handy to have this on the front of the radio, just like the original Skywave. Um, as you can see, we got a numeric keypad. Now, some of these numbers do certain things when the radio is off. Button number three, 
uh, from off. If you press and hold this, it disables the beeps, which is important. But when the alarm and the alert are, are running, the beeps are not disabled. But uh, everything else, it's disabled, so that's nice. So press and hold 3 for to remove beeps. People always ask that. Uh, 4 uh, from off, press and hold this to change show clock or show frequency when the radio is on. Most people like show frequency, so if it says C, it's going to show clock. If it says F, it's going to show... Um, so it's going to show the clock. We don't want that. We want to show frequency. So press and hold it again. Change it back to frequency. So when it says F, let go. And now when you have the radio on, it'll always default to showing frequency versus time. All right, so I'll set up five is cool. Uh, it toggles the uh, wake to radio or wake to buzzer when you're in the alarm set function. Uh, over here, we have a page button. So you get 100 presets per band, AM, FM, air, and shortwave. So a total of 400. And they're set up in... 10 pages of 10 presets. So you get 10 on your first page, hit this button, and then pick which page you want to go to, and you'll get the next 10. I really like that feature because it allows you to have 10 of your favorites on the first page, um, 10 of your daytime favorites on the second page, 10 of your evening favorites on the third page, and so on. So page function's nice, and if you notice, there's a tone control if you press and hold it. It goes to music or voice. I tend to do voice most often, unless I'm on FM, it's on music. Time set on number seven, alarm set on number eight, charge start on number nine. Expect the batteries to take about 10 hours to charge with an AC adapter, but uh, you initiate the charge by pressing that down. That's nice. Over here, you can see we got lock button. Um, over here, we have the nine kilohertz, 10 kilohertz mode. If you change it to nine, of course, you get the expanded FM band. Meter band takes you through those different meter bands it showed in the book. And of course, it toggles stereo on and off. That's important. Stereo off, you get... Uh, better sensitivity for uh, distant stations. And uh, down here we have bandwidth control, uh, and you'll see that in action. Um, like the AM and shortwave, I believe there's five of them. You get uh, 6 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, and 1 kilohertz filters. ATS um, is your auto tuning system, uh, which is like a save and store thing. You just press and hold, scans the entire band, and saves them into the pages. Down here we have a dedicated weather shortwave airband select button. And above it, you can change the uh, time from 12 hour to 24 hour. So right now we're 24 hour clock. Press and hold again. We'll go back to our AM PM. Awesome. Up and down tuning controls. Uh, so you got browse forward, uh, browse back. And I use this a lot. It seeks really quick on shortwave as well. And uh, yeah, and you can incremental tune. Right side of the radio, we got our tuning knob for manual tuning. Press it in for fast, slow tuning and squelch on the airband. Volume control. Top of the radio with 19 inch whip antenna that pops up and swivels 360 degrees and it locks pretty tight. On the back, we have a kickout stand with our frequency information. Down here, we have a battery compartment. Uh, I should probably show you. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, it takes two AA batteries. Currently, I'm running alkalines. They recommend alkalines or nickel metal hydride. Of course, if you're running alkalines, do not charge them. <laughs> I mean, it says it everywhere, but you know, I'll say it again. In the video so we can get this back on and on the bottom of the radio you'll notice that we have a reset hole in case something gets locked up i also wanted to mention uh secret little buttons if you hold four and six that'll reset the radio from off if you hold them for five seconds uh, everything will be wiped out and fresh from factory so something to keep in mind four and six press for five seconds if you have to reset the radio completely i don't want to do that because a lot of presets saved on this thing <laughs> Don't want to lose them. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about FM reception. Let's turn it on. So FM recep reception report, I always like to do this. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most average analog radio score about okay to good, right in the middle, two and a half stars. This radio scored a four-star rating. It found 80 stations. The sensitivity is fantastic with that 19-inch antenna, just absolutely floored. Yeah, 80 stations found, puts it in the four-star category, very good. Uh, very few radios get that very good rating. So, also selectivity was very good. Only one station was causing issues with bleed over. Um, fantastic. That was a local FM station of mine. So, yeah, four, four star rating on FM. Uh, absolute great experience. I love it. And almost every station I was getting FM stereo on my headphones. Loved it. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll do a demo of the sound. Go ahead and turn it on. I got C Cream FM transmitter 2. I got it hooked up to a. MP3 player, Sony, playing some royalty-free music. Let's go ahead and turn that on. There we go. See the stereo light went on. Signal strength's all the way up. We'll go ahead and turn this up. 
But yeah, cool stuff. That way you can hear what this sounds like. So yeah, I just want to go that real quick. Uh, yeah, you can tell the speaker isn't real thumping like an R108 or anything like that. But hey, you get tons of battery uh, life with those two AA's um, rocking. So we're going to go ahead and I think I got some presets. They're real simple to do. You just uh, tap which one you want to go to. We're going to hook up my antenna. So I'm in a sub-4 basement. So I'm just going to raise this antenna a little bit. I'm going to pull it out just a little wee bit here. And I'm going to hook up a little... A wire, 12 foot wire that goes to my window blinds to the inside, not outside. So nothing special. And we'll see if we get any reception. Okay, we'll do a quick little FM demo. Let's turn off this stuff here. All right, great. So you can tune here fast, press it in, slow. So let's go to the bottom of the band. Um, you can type in 87.7. See, if, yeah, there we go. I have a little power station here in Chicago. Not quite picking it up. Oh, there we go. Can't hover on the music, but yeah, a uh, low power station, cool. 87.75. You can tune it directly to that by using the slow. Go to fast, and then we'll just do some browse. Brought something that was not a match, or something um, where. Different schools and different teachers based on their own unique needs. And just like Robin said, right, always be looking for how to use AI for good in education. And how we can use AI to deliver much more impact and benefits to students and their learning experiences. What more needs to be done, do you think, in order to get the AI ready? It's to students and their learning experiences. About three years 
now, but I really enjoy it. Isn't it hard to make money these days? So as you can see, uh, it's not picking up 80 stations downstairs here, but you get a general idea what FM sounds like and how fast that browse works. And it, it really picks up the stations pretty quick, especially if you're in a better location uh, versus using a wire for FM. Typically not the best with this radio, I noticed. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to shortwave. That's where the fun's at. So um, to get to shortwave, we'll go dedicate the button down here. There we go. That's my position. I didn't say hurt any Jewish people. I wouldn't want any of them hurt. So we uh, we can navigate with the meter button. I'll just show you that real quick. You can't take one. Now daytime, I did some testing. And I found, using the whip only, um, 13 stations, which is a little bit around average or a little bit slightly better than average, um, just because of what's, out, what's being broadcast. And... Um, I'll let you know when I hooked up a uh, 22 volt wire, Kato T1 wire, to the uh, external input there, um, I got three extra stations. So that was amazing. Um, actually, four. Got 17 stations. So I was pretty impressed. I uh, started picking up things in towards the 20 megahertz and above range with that 20 foot wire. But there's the meter bands. Okay, so we can scan from the bottom. So press and hold. So the browsing is great on this radio. Um, they will, by faith, march around the walls, and the walls fell. Joshua took God. And it's starting at 2.3. is fantastic for those who love the stations on the lower part of the band. Believe God, verse 31. And you know what? There might be a time signal. You can manually enter it in. That's CHU Canada. Going rather quickly here because we want to get through a couple more bands and then give us final thoughts on this radio. But I love it. Rules in the chaos. As you can see, it really moves. WWE, Fort Collins, Colorado. Again, I'm near Chicago. It's probably about. I want to say 800 miles away. Radio Rebelde. Uh, I believe they're um, Cuba. Uh, 1,700 miles away. And you can see how it's jumping to different bands. Interesting music. You can think of instead of what really matters because the only thing that has the power to save. Cuba there. quite a bit. Pretty impressed. So we're almost through here. I'm just going to quickly cover the weather band and then the uh, air band. And then the medium wave band, um, it's decent. Uh, like the other sky wave, um, it uh, does really well. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll have a dedicated medium wave, of course, band scans with this radio. Wow, that's cool. 97.70. Sweet. I don't usually pick that up. Great radio, man. I love how it picks up the stations like the R108. It passes them right by. This radio gets them. 
So, okay, we're pretty much done with the shortwave. So, there you go. Shortwave's a lot of fun. Of course, I have presets here. Go directly to them. So there you go. That's a really neat setup to do that. And of course, you can hit your page button. And you can have flashes here and you can change the page. Say to page two. And you can put a bunch on there. So that's how that works. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to um, Airband. Now, the Airband has Squelch. I have it on level one. That's all you really need with this radio. And uh, I think we go to page two. Okay, we're on page two already. Okay, so we'll stay page two. Um, I'll just flip through these. I don't know if I'll find anything because it's evening. And typically the airports get pretty quiet in the evening time. You don't have much air traffic going on, but you can see this is what you'd be doing um, to go through to find what's active. Of course, a scanner is going to be better if you're looking for a lot of activity, but if you have a certain uh, frequencies you want to scan on, you can just do this, bump around on one page, and then maybe change your page to another to see if you can pick up something on the aviation bands. But it does work well. Very impressed with the squelch feature on here. So let's go to the weather band. Now, <clears throat> of course, daytime air was good, uh, and I mentioned the squelch picked up well on the faint signals. With weather, this is above average. Uh, during the day, I picked up six different stations. Right now, we're picking up one pretty faint. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be necessary through tonight. General storm motion of the day. Moving toward the southeast. Coming northwest 10 to 20 knots late. Chance of water spouts. Scattered rain showers to one inch. Lows in the mid-20s near the lake and around 19 well in months. Northwest, at 10 miles an hour, the wind chill was 27. And of course, you set your alert by pressing and holding that. And rising. Cool. Elsewhere around the area, at Chicago. Okay, medium wave. Uh, go to our dedicated AM down. Turn that down. All right. Okay, bottom of the band here. Let's line that up. Okay. Our bandwidth. We're picking up Brampton, Ontario here. This is cool. Low power station out of, yeah, Brampton. Uh, they're uh, CHLO, uh, 441 miles, 250 watts. So uh, we can. Uh, Jump the frequencies. Let's go to Nashville, 650. But keep it in the bluegrass vein on your Tuesday evening. Let's hear from Sonny and Bobby, the Osborne brothers, now doing Blue Heartache on WSM at night. There you go. You got some some uh, awesome country music at WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles to the south. Of course, you see me turning the radio uses a, I believe, a two and three quarter inch ferret internal antenna. And of course you have to turn that antenna horizontal edge towards the station you're trying to receive. Here's a local station, uh, WSCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs. And you saw them And of course, yeah. Signal strength indicator goes all the way to nine. You can go to uh, voice mode for sure. There we go. Fast tuning. Cincinnati. And that is the seal book, uh, an April 15th, 1945 broadcast. Oh, so we're doing some old-time radio on 720. Sweet. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that had Philip Clark as the host with Jock McGregor as the producer director. Now show me. I'll let someone say right next time. Zoomer Radio. Zoomer, uh, is Zoomer's uh, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles to the northeast. 
that I see in any listing. W WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles southeast. WGR Detroit, Michigan, 270 to the east. So you get the idea. WABC, uh, New York City, New York, 750 miles to the north, northeast. You just give the call letters. So yeah, um, you can do one call letters tuning as well uh, to get away from offending stations next to it. So there it is. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Final thoughts on the CC Skywave 2. Yeah, excellent radio. Um, I want to give you my impressions. So my final thoughts on the Skywave 2. Let me just move some paper out of the way here. Uh, give you a general idea what I like. Um, so an excellent experience with the headphone audio. Just apps. These CC Buds... And this radio are they're a perfect match. You if you buy this, you'll be so happy with it. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people get those R108s because they're cheap. If you want to spend the extra 40 bucks and get a premium radio, you're getting something special here. And it, you really notice it when you listen to it with the headphones. You absolutely love it. Uh, I like the weather alert on this radio. I like the new external antenna jack that they added here. Fantastic. Um, the AA operation, two AA batteries gives you 60 to 70 hours of runtime. Perfect for emergency uh, use and travel. Of course, it has an alarm clock and a normal clock, which is great, you know, in case you don't have that. Uh, power's out for a long time. That, that can happen. Uh, I love the responsive squelch here. It uh, works really well on the airband. Uh, you really like that. Just fantastic listening to the planes at night. I mean, during the day, it was great. At night, I wish I could, but there's not much happening. Um, sensitive browsing on shortwave. So it goes fast and it picks up those stations. I noticed with using the whip or the uh, antenna there, external antenna browsing is nice and that's key for shortwave um, you do a lot of browsing try to find good stations um, and of course it comes with a carrying case and i mentioned those headphones being awesome um, the only wants i'd really want is a better speaker but everybody wants a better speaker i understand there's some trade-offs for current and running the AA batteries without such a heavy bass speaker and that makes sense just plug the headphones in this radio is meant for headphones um, and the speaker is kind of like an extra thing if you don't have your headphones with you but definitely use headphones with this you'll be very happy with it uh, and if they can include a small shortwave wire, like a, a 15-footer with a little jack to plug in here, that'd be fantastic. Uh, a lot of radios are doing that. So if uh, Sucrane's watching that, maybe they'll include a little wire. Uh, I know they have the real wire that hooks up to the mast, but uh, to have a plug-in one, and a simple one, that'd be great. Uh, it shouldn't cost much to bundle it in. And I forgot to mention that the bottom does have these extended feet. So when you stand this radio up, it's less likely to topple than the original. The original feet... Um, you can see is not they're kind of narrow compared to the new one and so this one here has a tendency to want to move more than the other so i forgot to mention that there you go <laughs> little things so there it is hope you enjoyed this video give me a like if you did big thumbs up for sea crane skywave see skywave 2 yeah i definitely recommend it um you know people worried about bugs uh not many i could find on here um pretty much zilch uh really not a big deal with this radio i love it fantastic um, so yeah, if you are, are on the fence, uh, go ahead and pick one up. You'll be happy with it. Totally. I mean, Skywave all the way. Uh, especially if you don't want to pay the premium for the Skywave SSB uh, 2 that has single sideband. I forgot to bring that out to show you. There's the single Skywave. Yeah, the single sideband Skywave. So yeah, if you're wondering which one to get, if you just need shortwave, this is the way to go. If you need single sideband, of course, spend the extra money and do an upgrade, but it's quite a bit of an upgrade, so, but there you are. That's all about the Skywave 2 in this video. <laughs> and of course, uh, subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future videos, which I'm going to produce with this radio. Definitely two dedicated band scans, daytime and evening. And three, comment below what you think about the new Skywave 2. Is it for you? All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.